but why and how? Let's find out. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Film Theory! Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where today, shock of all shocks, we finally have an update about one of our favorite series, a favorite and, and creepiest series that we cover here on, on the channel, which is The Walton Files. Uh, Walton Files, in case you don't remember, it's, it's been a little, because I mean, it's like, oh yeah, I forgot about The Walton Files. It is one of those like FNAF adjacent series that kind of like spawned off um, where it's about, you know, animatronic robots at a restaurant, except this time instead of pizza, it's burgers, and but they're still bunnies. This one's got a sheep. Um, it's got like the, the ringmaster Boozoo. Like there is a lot of stuff in here that's obviously very closely paralleling the story of Five Nights at Freddy's. However, there is the big difference of this one is like legitimately horrific. Like whereas FNAF, you're like, oh, it's kind of spooky. You're like, oh, that's, that's kind of disturbing. And oh, it's a jump scare. Like, the thing about Walton Files, it's just like, it is disturbing. It gets to some incredibly dark places. It gets under your skin. The art style is rough. And what they do to like the faces and images of the characters is just disturbing. Um, this is the one that like sticks with you. It haunts you. And it has a very specific aesthetic. And it's been gone for a long time. Um, I know the creator uh, has been on Twitter and, and teased out like the idea of like, hey, I'm spending as much time as, as I can on this, and I want to make this, like, truly a, a worthy successor. And, and it's supposed to be the finale, too, right? I So I've heard. Yeah, I believe that that uh, they're working on the finale of The Walton Files, Walton Files 4. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited to see more of this story. Uh, for those of you who don't remember, you know, again, similar to Five Nights at Freddy's, you have two creators. Uh, you know, you have Jack Walton, and then you have a, a Frank. Frank, right? Frank? Walton Files characters. It's it's Frank something or other. Uh, Frank? Felix! That's it! I knew it was F. Felix Kranken. Um, and Felix is kind of like, you know, brother from another mother. Hey, we, we made this, this franchise together. And then all of a sudden, he has a, a trouble with the dranky drank. Uh, gets a little tipsy one day. And gets into a, a horrific car crash while trying to take care of Jack's kids. Uh, his twins. And they end up, uh, ever, they end up dying in the crash. There's a lot of regret there. There's a lot of anger and resentment and sadness there. And that's kind of what dominoes into this series of events where just horrific murders. Uh, Rosemary gets eventually like shoved into Shaw. Bon is, you know, we, we suspect that Jack is is living on in the form of Bon here. Um, you know, you have these kind of like two ghost twins that kind of uh, overshadow everything or kind of like work in the background. So it's it's this incredibly dark, incredibly disturbing story that just gets at like the core experience. And it, if ever there is like uh, that, that video series that's like, don't watch this when you're home alone or late at night, like after midnight, like this is that. So I'm very excited to hop back into this. Um, the Walton Files Minisode. So this was released uh, uh, like a, about a week ago. Small minisode made for Walton News Charity Stream. Hope you enjoy. Congratulations to Ash. Ash! Hey! Ash, what did you do? Along with your friend Nachigo5 for winning the trivia tournament. Yeah, did you win a trivia tournament? I sh yeah, sure did. Wow, and thanks to anyone who donated. Uh, the Walton Files 4 is being made still and no setbacks have happened. It will release soon. News report. My friend Joshua sent me by email. He got it from an old TV warehouse in Detroit. The fourth compilation is currently being fixed as the tapes were very corrupted. Enjoy, Anthony. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because uh, again, remember, uh, this series is being told through kind of like these, again, like collected analog horror tapes from back in the day. Um, the third one was kind of a let's play game of this like old gameplay experience of the Walton Files, which was a very unique, interesting way of telling the story. Felt very pet scoppy. Um, so without any further ado, should we just hop into, and, and forgive me as I kind of come back up to speed. It's been a long time since I thought about Walton Files. So if I misspeak, I'll try to make sure that I'm reminding myself of everyone. But I remember most of the broad strokes. Uh, also, as we get started here, got to call out Local 57. 
very clear reference to another one of our favorite analog horror series here on YouTube, which was Local 58. If you've never seen it, give Local 58 a huge shout out because their stuff is awesome. That's another series that really blew up in the heyday of analog horror and was incredibly popular. We did a theory about it on a Film Theory, but it's been quiet for a long time as well. So it'd be great to see a return of Local 58. All sorts of things. Man, walks down memory lane. Analog horror, great stuff. Local 57, the sister channel. Thank you, Marvin. This is Christine. Mar okay, we are turning on closed <laughs> captions because it sounds like they're talking into a blanket. Good morning. Thank you, Marvin. This is Christine Marshall, and here we go. It's like a Christopher Nolan movie up in here. <laughs> Oh, Batman, I see that you've come to fight me. I will break her back, Batman. Excuse me, what? What? <laughs> I'm glad that they spent so much money on this movie, Christopher Nolan, and you couldn't get the sound mixing right. Oh, ah, yes. Thank you, Marvin. Okay. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mario. Thank you, Mario. This is Christine Marshall reporting to Eyewitness at Nine. Now, what you're looking at originated as a small run- Food? Hold oh, sorry. Food bad? I'm sorry. Street? Street food bad. What? East food? Fam? Fam? Famed? What, what does this say, Ash? Food. Yep. It really does look like it says bad. Right? Doesn't it look like bad? Food bad. Family. Bad family. Or food bro. Food bro? <laughs> that, that'd be amazing. An old advertisement for a burger restaurant being like, food bro, get your food here, yo. <laughs> Love it. Food bro. Your brother who likes to cook. East Street food bro. That's kind of like Santi if you think about it. He is, he is our East Street food bro. He's our food bro. He is. He is. I like it. If you're in the of the that originated as a small rundown mom and pop business. Yep. If you're among I swear I paused it. Burgers. Bonds. Is it, so they're, they're showing us Bonds burgers. Just like that, it just randomly popped up. Lights are working again. Business. If you're among the small brain community. If you're among the small brain community. <laughs> Good closed captioning there, YouTube. If you're among the small brain community, this series, not for you. You need big brains. Only big brains here. That was such a small brain maneuver. Like, not bonehead maneuver, not stupid maneuver. Small brain. Okay, small brain. That was very small brain of me right now. Yeah, it's giving small brain. Yeah, I'm serving up serious small brain energy right now. Yeah. Just teeny brain. Love it. If you're part of the small brain community, I love it. All run down mom and pop business. <laughs> if you're among the small brain community, you may have heard of Bonds Burgers. What is it? What is it actually trying? Now that it, now that I've read small brain community, I can't even. I can't even tell what it's trying to tell us. Uh, if you're among this small, it has to be the um the name of the town. Right. Right. It, right, it has to be. Yeah. Brain community. You may have heard of Bonds mom and pop business. Here, I do. If you're among the small brain community. You may it does it really, does it really brain. do sound like small brain community. It does. If you're kind of dumb, you yeah, might. Right? <laughs> all y'all, all y'all fools in the audience. I can't unsee it now. I can't unhear it. It's so bad. Oh my God. Where are all my small brains at? Woo! Woo! Small brain energy. <laughs> big, big brain club, nah. Small brain. Bonds burgers. A well-known entertainment center that, in fact, hosted birthday parties and events in this very building. Now, if you know about this place, you also probably know about the infamous reasons its run was so short-lived. I do. I know. I know. There was a lot of murder. Just a, a heck ton of murder. A heck ton. Also, occasional, like, drunk driving accidents, but definitely heck ton of murder. Four months ago, around the summertime, this place opened its doors to the public for the first time. And less than a month later, it would shut its doors to public permanently. Great, I love, I love that they're outlining like the very explicit timeline here. Yeah. You do, you, you, you gotta love a franchise that's not afraid of telling you the timeline and then sticking to the timeline. 
as opposed to Five Nights at Freddy's where it's like, all right, throw it all away, put it in the shredder. Really does look like food, food bad families. But why and how? Let's find out. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Film Theory! Burr, 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 burr. Opening June 28th, 1974. Wow, they're wow. Brighton. That might be what brain is. Brighton, 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 Brighton. Small, small Brighton community. Small Brighton community? Brain? Yeah. What are we doing tonight, brain? Same thing we do every night. My kid went there a few months ago to celebrate his birthday party. I remember only a few months later, all those rumors would appear. Oh, I don't go there. Oh, it's haunted. But <laughs> Sorry, I was, I, I'm trying to listen to what they're saying, but I'm so distracted by the blurry faces that are just jump-scaring me constantly in this. A few months later, all those rumors would appear. Oh, I don't go there. Oh, it's haunted. But frankly, I never believe in those stuff myself. I just think it was a neat place, but hey, everyone can believe what they want, I guess. As we they're, they're horrific, man. These, 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 these designs are just so disturbing. Like, I know we all give Chuck E. Cheese a hard time. We're like, oh, spooky. Or like, Five Nights at Freddy's, oh, spooky. Like, the, the uncanniness of these is it's so horrific. It's absolutely terrifying. Absolutely. As we interview the people around town, one thing becomes more and more evident. Barnesburgers supposedly held a lot of secrets. As held a lot of secrets. Come join the party. Open... But, uh, 10 p.m. It's a nice late night family friendly restaurant. Barnsburger supposedly held a lot of. Hold up, sorry, I, mean, I know. I, I don't want to keep pausing over and over again. Barnsburger supposedly. Okay, so there's our four main characters. Courtesy of. Interesting. Footage courtesy of LBB Distribution. I wonder, I wonder what that is or if that's a reference to something. I'd have to dig around, see if it's an existing thing. Supposedly held a lot of secrets. As soon as this little burger joint opened its doors, a strange and disturbing chain of disappearances began to unravel, all linked to one specific pattern. This looks like Felix, doesn't it? Rather than rather than Jack, this definitely looks like Felix. Because again, uh, remembering the lore of the series, and again, forgive me if I'm speaking out of turn, but I believe how it worked. Right? Was uh, Jack and Frank worked together to create the franchise? But at a certain point, Frank kind of like pushed out his friend and really hyped himself up as like the genius who started Bonds Burgers. And so it's like, oh, Felix is the guy and he's, he's brilliant. So it's interesting that in all these like founders videos or all this like old footage that represents like the opening of this franchise and the, this, this burger restaurant that we're seeing Felix and we're not seeing any real presence of Jack Walton there. Big pattern, it's parent company, Bunny Smells Incorporated. Six total missing reports filed around the summer, all equally stressful and intriguing. I love the fact that that whoever filmed this and uploaded it just like potato, potato, 120p, too many peas. <laughs> Show me as few pixels as I can get away with. I'm sorry, YouTube. Uh, I know you offer like 4K now. No thanks. Hard pass. 4p what is the lowest bit rate you could offer me right can we chug this thing along <laughs> at like five frames a second that would be great i would like to compress this like a jpeg please <laughs> really I, I i do wonder like they they exported this like seven times over <laughs> just over and over and over again <laughs> there it is that's the quality we're going for I believe it reached a breaking point when Jack Walton, the co-founder, was declared missing. He must have come to that place at least ten times in those two weeks alone. Then three more missing reports about missing employees. Ooh, I like that we see a, a layout of, of the whole place. Because I don't know if we've actually gotten a full map of the restaurant. So that's actually pretty exciting that we get a, a layout of every supply closet, employees only area which is where I believe Rosemary, Jack's wife, died and, and got put into Shaw, the bunny, if I recall correctly. Freezer, kitchen, corridor, entrance, party room, corridor, ran. Hmm. Interesting that this is blurred out. I don't exactly know why that would necessarily be the case. Well, duh. It's the equality room. The equality room. 
Yeah? yeah. Like what, what does one what does one do employees. in the equality room? I've I've never had the opportunity to work in a restaurant before, so forgive me my ignorance. It's because all customers are equally important. Okay. So what what do the equally important customers do in the equality room? Well, please continue. There. Yeah. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're there. Uh-huh. And they're equal. And they're all wow. They just sit amongst each other as equals. It's like a utopia inside this murder murder burger joint. Exactly. Well, how do you think they lure them in, Matt? With equality. The promises of equality. <laughs> exactly. You know what? When when someone's about to die to the hands of an animatronic bunny, we are all equal. Right. There there is no one better or worse than each other when that robot bunny sheep clown hybrid creature comes at you with murderous intent. We're all the same. Exactly. Just flesh and meat parts for the grinder. And it can't have equality room without <laughs> the word quality. It's not just an yeah. equality. It's a quality room. It's a it's it's a quality equality. It, it, yeah, room. quality equality. <laughs> can't spell equality without most of the word quality. And then E. <laughs> With an E at the front, because why not? Employees. I disapprove, however, the spectacle you people have been making about real disappearances. I also love this, uh, this like, true crime, like, real case studies, uh, like the olden days, uh, like, unsolved mysteries music that's, like, jamming in the background. It's like X-Files light music back there. Yeah. Prove, however, the spectacle you people have been making about real disappearances. You know, it's disheartening, and uh, I don't wish to comment on anything else. Soon the urban legends would originate. Oh, family fun! Family fun! That doesn't oh. help us. That doesn't help us at all. It's not bad family. Sad. Right? Legends would originate. Ghost stories about missing employees, presumed dead, haunting the establishment. Yep. Soon all sorts of reports would appear. Loud music being played late in the night, way past the restaurant's closing time. <sighs> loud music. Those hooligans <laughs> playing their loud music at Bonds Burgers. It's the food bro. That it is. It's the food bros. He's cranking it up. He's 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 bopping it. And all the neighbors are like, quiet down! Yeah. With their brooms. This is me with my broomstick, in case you were wondering what this gesture was meant to be. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I didn't I didn't want people to get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. This is a broomstick. Right. Car alarms and lights being kept on around midnight, confusing many people nearby and causing them to keep a close eye on the place. However- Oh! I'm so confused. Who turned on the lights there? I'm so confused. Fast food. Fast food. Open till 10. Where it all culminated on the night of July 19th. As witnesses state, there were blood curdling screams of an adult woman heard around 2 to 3 a.m. That's uh, that's Rosemary, Rosemary Walton. Once the police arrived and broke into the restaurant, no one was inside. I A believe. few days later, the place shut down due to budget reasons, allegedly at least. But the urban story allegedly at least down due to budget reasons allegedly the showstoppers who the showstoppers delight the audience Ooh, delight the audience with a version of that doggone in that doggy that doggy in the window that that's doggy in the window and the sun has got oh great classic while Bond the Rabbit brags, knows, co keeps in or keeps. While Bond the Rabbit keeps interrupting someone's performance with sassy jokes. Ooh. Ooh. Their their performance interrupts their performance with sassy jokes. It's, uh, when I you know, when I see this face right here, this this face right here, Bond, Bond the Rabbit, when I I, th I think one word, one descriptor, one adjective, sassy. That is one sassy bunny. I mean, it's lo it looks like the bunny is gr grimacing. It does, right? Where it's, it's like it's that pain. outward cringe. Yeah. Where it's like, ugh, that, like about to say something. That really. rabbit is regretting something that it j did when it was a kid right now. Oh. Ugh. Ooh. That, the waitress came up and, said, and went to his table 
and said, hey, can I take your order? And he said, good. How are you? <laughs> oh, he's, he's experiencing that cringe. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Right. We're alike in that way. You, all of us are alike in that way. It's true. It's e e equal, well, you all need to get to the equality room right now. Stat. At once. At once. Simply must. Every show lasts for around 11 minutes. But the urban stories say much different. It's suspected that those screams belong to one Rosemary Walton. People. A woman that disappeared early 40 years old. that same day, never to be found. After some time, the building... The poker maze? Sorry, is there a poker day, maze? Never to be found. After the poker maze! What a wild, what a wild attraction that must be. There's two very different ways that the poker maze could go. One is a, like, gambling extravaganza. Mm -hmm. Just full houses and royal flushes all over the place. The other, which I think is the more interesting option there, is a maze full of actual pokers. Like oh. in the, for a fire. Like poking you at the sides. You're like, oh, oh, hey. A little ticklish, a little painful. Ooh, oh. The poker maze. Let's see what other weird delights this strange restaurant has. Sometime the building. Musical entertainment. That, see, that makes more sense to me. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense to me. Is there something in between? No, I guess not. It just felt like the text jumped. Time the building has been deemed condemned. Nobody really seems interested in you. I like that that Shaw the Bunny here with fam just like just tripping balls right now. Like, what is this face? Men. Family. <laughs> Family. Men. Right. Yeah, you think it's like mem? I, oh, well, like even, even her eyes are like inconsistent she's she's hammered right now i yeah zooted as the kids might say Z yeah she she is fully zooted yeah for yeah sure. she has a zooted suit riot <laughs> zooted and suited you yeah know. She, and this is like getting ready for the family thanksgiving and she's not eager for that so she had one too many dips of the eggnog right yeah she's there we get it girl uh-huh we get it oh hello 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 transition uh, laughs! Laughs! Hello, Remnant Keyframe. Been using this space as Sorry, what was in the background of that one? He really seems interesting. Oh, we're playing Joy. Okay, they're playing arcade games. Space as the drawing stories and theories are believed to drive people away. Only Have you seen this woman? Space as the drawing stories and theories are... He said the word. She said the word. She said theories. That's our thing. We are some of those theories. We are, we are the stories and theories that have been had. Believe to drive people away. Only I see this. As the John stories and I see this. I'm assuming this is another missing poster. I like, and I know it's the art style of the humans in this world, but I, and, and it's horrific and it's scary and it's really upsetting. But I see that and I think about the, uh, the <laughs> left three... On. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. You know what I'm going for here. Oh, they're not giving it to me, and I'm not okay with that. Like the leprechaun sighting. Yes. <laughs> well, Justin. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Everybody say, yeah! Here it is. <laughs> Amateur sketch. Amateur sketch. There it is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one of the best YouTube videos of all time. Leprechaun in Mobile, Alabama. If you've never seen this, go do yourself a favor right now and watch it. If you have seen it, go do yourself a favor and watch it again. It will continue to delight you. This, it's interesting. Six years ago, this thing predates many, many... This, is, this must be a re-upload of it because this has been around forever. But uh, that is the amateur sketch of the leprechaun that was seen in Mobile, Alabama. It reminds me a lot of these missing posters. <laughs> We've seen a leprechaun say, yeah! Theories are believed to drive people away. Only break-ins and vandalizing occur inside this defunct building. Though these theories still remain, that those disappearances still taunt the aura of this very place, and whatever the truth may be, the disturbing presence of Bonds Burgers has... 
Oh, hello. Oh, oh, we are not done. You, you, you just be glitching. That's Oh jeez. Oh boy, here we go. I thought I I did not I did not expect us to get into scares actually. I'm excited to get in scares, but oh jeez. Oh god, okay. Oh they're so oh the designs are so horrific. Who are you? Are you Rosemary? She looks different. Oh okay, it is Rosemary, because there's uh it's her face over shot. Oh, gross. That's Jack. Oh, I'm still here. That's so great, Jack. I'm so happy that you're still here. Great. You, you, can, you, I, you can leave. You can feel free to leave, though. Honestly, I, I don't really want you here anymore. Please get out of here. Jack Walton, you're, you're creepy. Uh, so is this, is this saying he's still here and alive? Because notice, right, like, this series is not really been super obtuse with who is in what suits right like it's it, the the horror of this story and the mystery of this story is really like the, the actual human element to it it's not trying to hide like elizabeth's soul is in baby but it's also charlie the puppet whatever like this one is very explicit like rosemary clooney not rosemary clooney rosemary walton is in shot and there it is it is one for one spelled out bond every time we see bond we have not to my knowledge, and I, and I can reflect on this, but like we, we would presumably see Jack Walton's face here, but we don't. Instead, we see it here, separate from Bond, and he's like, I'm still here. Well, good for you, Jack. Terrifying, absolutely terrifying. I hate it so much. And that's not Rosemary, right? That is Jack Walton. Yeah, good old Jackie boy. That, that, that's Jack, that's Jack, that's a leprechaun. Just so we're all on the same page. Don't, don't get it twisted. So him saying, I'm still here, is he still here because he's still kicking around in the story? We've never gotten official confirmation that he's dead and in one of the animatronics. He has just been, he went missing one day after the tragedy that happened to his family. So I'm curious. Although historically in the series, when someone is dead and is possessed and, and moved on, they get this sort of treatment, right? So I'm not sure. Oh, just scary to look at, man. Also, Rye Toast solved Tom's Midnight Motorist. Did you know that he solved Midnight Motorist? Oh my gosh, their cat. It feels like everyone has solved Midnight Motorist. <laughs> Unrelated to Walton Files, Rye Toast just uploaded I Solved Midnight Motorist. ID's Fantasy also... I feel like just solved midnight. I, I saw, yeah, mystery solved. True story of midnight. Mo Everyone is solving midnight motorists these days, Ash. Do you want to solve midnight motorists? I kind of feel left out. I kind of want to solve midnight motorist. We can. Can we though? Yeah. Can anyone truly solve midnight motorist? Oh no, but we can try. Okay, we could try. Maybe we should do that. Like a GT live. Ooh. Well, we'd have to react to both of theirs, and those are both long videos. Well, yeah. So. Maybe. But wouldn't it be fun for you to like actually craft a game theory on GT Live without external media? Wow, that's deep. Right? Wow, that's 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 a lot of pressure, Ash. I I know. I'm sorry, and I realize it's a lot. Yeah. But I just think it could be a really great opportunity. Um, Tell him still in to show the world that you can like theorize. <laughs> As if they haven't gotten that message yet, Ash. <laughs> hey, let me prove something to you. I've got a bone to pick with everyone. Let me prove something to you. Poor Rosemary. Of all the characters, I think she suffered the most physically. And I agree. I think Rosemary is the most tragic character in this entire story. Um, yes. That's probably why her story is so heart-wrenching. And also the fact that we very frequently hear her crying out in pain, saying, help me, help me, please, as while well, the audio peaks. I feel like that is what makes me really feel for her. The cries of help as the audio peaks in like the worst possible format possible. Uh, remember everyone, Martin said that, did say he wanted to make the Walton Files more cinematic with a more mysterious feel rather than just a jump scare right in your face. It, I mean, it does. It is just dread 
already this whole short actually feels like I'm watching something through an actual movie, especially with a, a movie that was filmed on a potato, uh, especially with the animatronics already truly excited to see what Walton Files 4 has us. But yeah, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Walton Files uh, Spectacle, which I'm very excited about uh, to see when Walton Files 4 comes out. Because um, this, this series is dark in a way that a lot of the other stuff is too scared or just doesn't want to delve into because it's, it's bleak. Like, this is a very bleak story of just human failure and human regret. And it's just very, very sad and very tragic. Um, so it's nice to have gotten a chance to kind of pop back into this world that we haven't seen in the better part of... How long has it been? I love to talk. Sipping the Pepsi, that's amazing. Two years, wow. It's been two years at least because um, they don't update that far. Why? When was it? March 19th, 2021. So it's been a long time. So I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that we do get to see it uh, sometime soon. Will it be in the next, you know, two months? Six months? I hope. I, I would hope within the next six months. We'll see. That's That's my timeline for when I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, if it's coming soon. That's what I'd say, but who knows? It could be any time. Wait, Ash. Huh? What's your What's your novel clue? Oh, oh my gosh. We I almost forgot. forgot. I almost forgot. The Ash Book Clue of the Day. Ash, Ash Book Clue of the Day! It's a really fun song. It is a fun I'm song. having a lot of fun with that jingle. I like it. Ooh, let's see. I mean, we're nearing the end of our little are. escapade it here. It is. It's the final countdown, in the words yeah. of Europe. The entire continent. Okay, go Gotta for it. Gotta give y'all a beefy one today. Oh, beefy, because they. Th this is an end clue. So it's, this isn't like, oh, casual fans just popping in. This is end of the video. They got all the way here. Okay. Oh, I could go, I could go vague. I could go vague. Um, but I could also not. Or I could do both. I'll say perspective shift. Ooh. All right. Yeah. That was big. W was that satisfactory? That was. That was very, very satisfactory. Do you have any guesses? I guess that... It's time for us to wrap up this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. See ya!